So when you want to create a message driven bean, so first step you have to start a server. Now if we talk about EJBs, so for EJB you require something called as application server. So your web server is not enough. So if we talk about application server, so just go to the service, service type in NetBeans. In this you will see we have two servers, one is your Tomcat and second is Glassfish. So in order to create, uh, to, in order to start the server, just right click on your uh, Glassfish, you can see there's a start button here. So if it is already started, what you can do is you can just verify if it is started or not. Just go to this uh, server, you can see the address is localhost uh, colon and the port number is 4848. So you can go to your browser and simply type localhost 4848, uh -oh, I forgot the colon here, it's colon and enter, uh, something is getting open, okay, it's, yeah, so you can see this is your uh, Glassfish console, I guess it is zoomed, let me just reduce it, yeah, much proper. Now, you can see there's something called a JMS resources here. So if you click on JMS resources, so you have lots of things here. Uh, you have something called application, so already deployed application on your Glassfish will be coming here. So if I open, I have already two, let me remove this, deploy. Okay, so you can see I don't have any application which is deployed. And in this JMS resources, you have two things. One is connection factory, and second one is destination resources. So first we have to create a connection factory. I have already two. Uh, this time I will create a new one for this. So I will select, okay, let me select a JNDI name here and we'll give JNDI name, you can give any name. So I'm giving here JMS, uh, we'll say JMS demo slash. So the JMS demo is my directory and my name will be, let's say, my uh, message. So you can have anything, so we'll, we'll save this thing somewhere with this JMS demo slash my message. Or let me, let me keep it simple, let me say JMS demo slash Navin, just to remember. So this JMS demo slash Navin. And the type of uh, connection factor I'll be using here is Q, is because I'm going for point to point and then that's it, you have lots of features here. I will simply say, okay, so once you have given JNDI name, which is JMS demo slash Navin, and I'm selecting Q, so JMS demo slash Navin, okay. So I can say I have JMS demo slash Navin. Now we need to create a destination, so we'll create a destination, we'll click on destination, by default I have one. I will click on new, and here I will provide a JNDI name so you can have any name. Again, I will say it is JMS demo slash Navin dest for destination. And you can have any name here. We'll say this is my service. So you can give any name. So we'll say my service. Now to add a description and you can select a type as Q and you can simply click on OK. So you can see I have two things. Now I have connection factory and make sure it is enabled and I have a Navin Dust which is again a queue, make sure it is enabled. So once you're done with this step, we'll, then we'll create a project in NetBeans, but how to get a project in NetBeans for uh, MDB, that we'll see in the next video.